Hi, I'm Jenna. And I'm Josh. And, and welcome, welcome to the Castle House. so nice to just step back and watch the work get done. So we're going to take over once lockup is finished. We have steel. It's so great to see because you can finally see and understand the scale. That there is our outdoor entertaining area and tomorrow we're going to start bricking up the fireplace. Exciting! I'm standing in what's going to be our future alfresco area. So it's all undercover. It's got the best views because it's right at the top of the hill and we look both directions. So we've got a two meter wide brick fireplace chimney and we've got this 900 mil Scandia Avanti fireplace. And it also doubles as a barbecue. So you can probably see there's a couple of hot plates in there so we can charcoal up some steaks and some veggies from the garden. This is like the main feature of the whole house because we've got a pavilion style, which is basically a long rectangle. And this is like right at the end. So when you walk in the front door, this is going to be the feature as well. So um, we're going to be out here quite a lot, especially at night time, because we can take in all the stars and the beautiful views and the breeze. So because our house is charcoal and these bricks are a lighter ivory colour, we didn't want it to be so black and white and we needed the warmth from the mortar to bring in that beautiful feel that we love. So our brick has been nice enough to give us a couple of samples on the internal skin so that it won't be seen. And now our two options are just a generic sand with a white cement and a creamy oxide to bring out a creamier colour that is going to be uh, darker than the brick. Our other option is a red sand with a white cement and that's brought this beautiful beige sandy colour which is exactly what we wanted so you can see that it's dried here and that it stands out from the brick and the beauty of using the red natural sand to get the colour over the creamy oxide is that the natural sand colour isn't going to discolour anywhere near as much as an oxide. The oxide when it gets attacked by UV light it will fade over time which means that a beautiful creamy beige mortar is going to end up white like the brick. We've been working on the old house and we're trying to get that complete before lockup hits so we can move straight into the extension and into fit out. But we are quickly running out of time. We've got two rooms that are finished now, so onto the rumpus and I'm cleaning the room out, filling up all the cupboards in the other room to clear some space. Then we're going to start with some cupboards and some hatching. <laughs> I guess there's some positives about not having our decking done. This is our loading bay. <laughs> look a little bit strange but because built-in joinery is so expensive at the moment we have found some bookshelves that were off the shelf unfortunately we could only get a black one and a white one but what we're going to do is because they're just a little bit too big for these spaces we're going to cut them down 
put the bookshelf on top, paint them all green, and hopefully we can make them look custom for a quarter of the price of built-in. We're painting the entire rumpus room in a beautiful Dulux colour called Paris Creek. It's inspired by the olive orchard right outside the window. And the idea is that this room is going to be warm, cozy, calm, and a place to retreat. This will be a playroom by day and a TV record whiskey room by night. We have a road trip two hours away to pick up these amazing skinny French doors for the back of the old house. Um, we've been looking for solid timber doors with some glass in it for, for weeks now and the only thing we can find is a few hours away. So we're going to make a day trip of it, but that's the fun part of renovating. You get these fun marketplace road trips on the weekend. Now that we've got the paint on in the rumpus room, I can put some of my attention back into the hallway. So we've got this beautiful archway that we're restoring. We've also got the back wall that we're bringing back and exposing all the red brick. And we've got some VJ paneling on the walls. So lots of cool little design features here that will bring us back into the 1800s. So they were originally bifold doors and we wanted something that was a third with panelling down here and two thirds glass. So that was the challenge to find something like that. Today I've got the spray gun out so I can prime all these old render walls and then get the coat on the ceiling. So the best way I've learned to do it is set up, tape everything up prime all the walls, prime the ceiling, even though the ceiling's already primed. And then after that, I'll do two coats on the ceiling and usually I'm out within the day. We're painting the hallway panelling and the arch details in a soft green with white above. The hallway is going to act as a gallery space and a place to display all of our artworks in the future. So we wanted it to be neutral, but have a touch of colour so it felt cohesive with the other rooms. And unfortunately, we can't completely finish the hallway with flooring until we've finished the bathroom. Otherwise, the floors would get damaged. But we can finish the rumpus room. And we're finally ready to reveal it.
While we've been focusing our own attention on the old house, the extension has drastically been taking shape. Our windows have arrived. So these are getting installed in a couple of days and honestly, this would be the highlight of the entire project. Can't wait. Now that the extension is a lockup, it feels like we've got two houses to do because we haven't quite finished the old house yet either. We've still got the bathroom to do, we've got decking boards, we've got flooring to do, and we're hoping that the extension is going to be a lot easier of a renovation because it doesn't have all the decorative cornices and archways and all the tricky rendering. And although shed life has been great, it's been almost two years and we are ready to move into a home. So this is the final stretch for us. We're really excited to jump in, plaster, paint, jewellery, furnishings, and then move in day. So we look forward to seeing you next time. Wish us luck. See you soon.